To die beneath your potential is a tragedy a mammoth proportion because you're not just bearing the person you're bearing the potential and a lot of people black white brown rich poor listening at us right now run the risk of dying the death of being normal or average turn your pain into progress turn your pain into progress i need you to be uncomfortable with average i need you to be allergic to average don't stop because somebody says you don't belong over there. Don't drop the mic because destiny is in front of you and history is behind you. Why would you live in your history when you can excel in your destiny? Some of you have sold your greatness and your destiny for a couple dollars. You're not bringing the fire. You're not bringing the passion. You're not bringing the heat. It is not what they say about you that limits you the most. It's that you might believe them. I need you to believe in yourself. I need you to see yourself capable, lovable, and unconditionally worthy of your future. Don't let people describe you because if they do, they will incarcerate you. I promise you, you are never gonna be dope trying to be somebody else. Get scared sometimes. Get where you're not the boss. Get where you're walking to a room where you're not the teacher. Walk into a place where you don't know the rules. I need you to get out of your comfort zone. You can't be successful with the companion of comfort. I have the same DNA. I have the same fingerprint. I have the same voice print, but I don't have the same experiences. So at a, any particular moment, it's not can you go with me is can you grow with me? I want you to read this one. You're already in a space that gives you permission to lead. When you come in this world, you got a child, I don't care what that child, you are already in a position to lead. You a teacher, you already in a position to lead. You a pastor, you a neighbor, you live in a neighborhood, you got permission to lead. We cannot be the generation that suddenly says, that sounds hard. And we stop being innovative and we stop being creative because if we do that, we will lose respect for ourselves because we didn't make a difference. Do everything, do everything, and do it scared because you're gonna be scared. Every time you get out of your comfort zone, it is horrifying, but it is also titillating, and it is also inspiring, and it is also nerve wracking, but it, you are never more alive then when you're outside of your normal, your glands secrete different types of hormones. When you're outside of your normal, your brain starts spinning, your blood starts rushing, your adrenaline increases. Most of us are dying of boredom. There are people listening at me right now who, who drive home and circle the block two or three times before going in the house. We're dying of routine, and we were made to be adventurous. We don't roar like the lion. We don't move like the jackal. We don't slither like the snake. We don't bite like a viper. Our only weapon that's been given to us is our brain. And we're the only species on earth that has developed languages and written languages and spoken languages and read languages and built buildings and built ships and our brain is our weapon and when your brain gets locked down to living within the confinements of other people's expectations it starts to wither fear disguises itself as as process and practical and rationale and no boss up and admit that you are afraid you are afraid to fulfill destiny. You are afraid to manifest. You are afraid to evolve. You are afraid to give it everything you have because you are afraid that people will reject you. You are afraid to change. You are afraid to move. Boss up and admit that you are afraid. I know this message will reach millions of people and I'm talking to you. I need you to find a mirror and I need you to bind up the spirit of fear and I need you to tell yourself, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. 
I am not afraid of pursuing my objectives. I am not afraid of focusing. I am not afraid of sacrificing. I am not afraid of giving it everything I have. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what I look like. I'll look crazy if I have to to fulfill my destiny. I focus on winning. And when you become a winner, they start seeing you with winners. You get from being a loser, low self-esteem, doubt, and fear. And if you can find your way on this side, guys, it's sweeter on this side. You, want, you know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. No, for real, I'm gonna say it again. Like you, somebody gave you a guarantee, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, if you don't make what they told you was gonna make, in 30 days, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. No, I didn't grow up on that side of the town. No, my mama don't have no network. No, I don't know a whole lot of people. No, I'm not at a country club. No, I don't play golf and I don't plan on playing no time soon. But I'm still gonna be successful. There were many, many, many people who said that I would never be anything. Uh, I just chose not to be one of them. And as long as it's not your mouth that says it, you can overcome theirs all day long. I need you to see yourself. See yourself. One of the things that many students lack is vision. You got to see yourself before you get there. You have to hear yourself telling yourself thank you. I need you to open up your ears. Open up your ears. Because the you from the future is telling you thank you. Thank you for not giving up when you wanted to give up. Thank you for not being depressed. Thank you for not allowing the brokenness to eat your progress. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got this. Here's when I became a leader. When I wrote the vision and I made it plain. What you want to do with your life, E? What you want to do with your life, E? Huh, what you want to do? My confidence went to another level when I started to get clarity about my life. When you look at King, when you look at Garvey, when you look at Family Life, when you look at Rosa Parks, what you see is confidence. Confidence, when you lack confidence, it just means you're not taking care of yourself. That's what, that's what a lack of confidence is. It means you're not building yourself. It means you don't, you're not taking care of what you need. It means you dropping the ball in your own life. Confidence is nothing more than doing what you said you was going to do when you said you was going to do it. Confidence don't have nothing to do with other humans. Confidence is how you feel about yourself and you feel bad about yourself because you're not doing what you said you was going to do. So it starts with number one, write the vision. What do you want? I guess I'm kind of saying, don't stop doing it. Keep keep moving into awkward positions because you're, if you do, if you don't do that, your body will freeze to the level of its usage. That's true of the brain too. That's true of your innovation. That's true of your creativity. So when I'm talking about don't drop the mic, get scared sometimes.